Nero from class 36. Hi, I'm Isaac from class 36. Hi, I'm Azirfan from class 36. I'm Jofila from class 25. Hi, I'm Amar from class 26. So, we've been in drama for the past three years. Yes, and we're currently in the same class for secondary three. Yay! Yeah, yeah. Okay, today we will be given some statements to from the statements we have to decide how racist it is. From what number to what number? Basically, one being not a racist at all and ten being the most racist. Okay. Okay, okay sure. So, let's read it. Okay. You are Malay. You obviously have a cat at home, right? Which is a very weird question, because I am very confused. All my Malay friends, none of them have a cat. But I do. Oh, you have a cat? Yeah, <laughs> I have a cat. 3, 2, 1. I don't really get this joke at all. So apparently, you have a cat. Yeah, but like, I have other friends who are not Malay who have cats, so. And I have friends who are Malay and they don't have cats. Excuse me, huh? What can Chinese eat? They eat everything. What do Chinese eat? Uh? <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with what's wrong with eating everything? It just means it means you can you enjoy every kind of food and every Joe, I don't think you get the joke. They eat tables and chairs. Who can eat tables and chairs? That's a fish. Americans also are they can eat everything. Or you can just stereotype them and say they only eat burgers and <laughs> diabetes. To a Filipino person, where's your Indian boyfriend? Three. <laughs> <laughs> Not all like Filipino helpers. Yeah. Like generally this refers to like as a joke, it can go to like anyone. It doesn't have to be a helper or anything. It's just kind of racist and rude. Uh, I mean like like why are you just like referring to like one specific race for a boyfriend? Hey, don't go ITE. A lot of Malays. <laughs> Okay. IT is an institution. Okay, IT got more courses than the police there. It doesn't have to be only Malays, but there are also Chinese and Indians. Yeah. Seven because uh, it's not just Malays there. Um, there's Chinese, Indians, and are there Angmos there? <laughs> I think anyway, IT is an institution where they use it to go to poly also. So in the end, there'll be the same amount of Malays and Chinese and Indians or any other race. How do Chinese get their names? By like hitting tin cans. <laughs> <laughs> is it serious? Oh. No. How do you get your name? It's okay, we wait first. <laughs> Chinese people get their names from their ancestors who used to come from China. They had, they had like a clan system there where each clan had their own family surname. And these surnames are turned and part. They, they all have their own meaning behind it. If you're saying something like this, you're basically disrespecting Chinese people and the whole of the person's family and ancestry. Names come with effort. You know? Those names have meaning. I mean, I know the meaning of my name and I think a lot of other people use their names as a form of their identity. That's why you have identification cards. So I think it's really shameful to say that it comes from hitting tin cans, like something so disposable. Ding. Yeah, like ding. 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 <laughs> yeah. If you're naughty, the apple will catch you. <laughs> Oh god. What does Abu Nene even mean? One, two, three. Abu Nene doesn't even mean anything. But I'm pretty sure it's usually it's directed at like, like the Indians. Mom to the Indians. Yeah. My mom, or at least Chinese mothers, usually they will be like when they're scolding you and there's like an Indian person nearby, they'll point at him or her and say, the Abu Nene will come and catch you if you're naughty. Every time. It's like a way to scare their child, but it's, at the same time, it's not the correct way because, like, it kind it, of makes them scared of Indians. It's actually kind of racist because it can hurt someone else's feelings. This actually might be the reason why we see more racism towards Indians these days. The parents have brought them up to fear Indians, and that's, that's really bad actually. 
a friend makes a racist joke about me or about anyone else, to be honest, if it was within a group circle, right, we would all take it as a joke to one another. It's really just having fun in our own group, so we just laugh along. If these type of racist comments are made to a person that we don't know, then it's really meant like an attack towards them. I mean, I personally post racist jokes to other people, but at the end of the day, I will feel guilty and I'll just drop a simple text to just tell them that I'm sorry. Like, if this ever comes to me, like, I'll probably laugh it off, but if, like, if it gets overboard, I'll just, like, call me, tell, tell them, like, um, hey, what you're doing is not right, like, it hurts me. You shouldn't do that to other people. It's like, I don't really think that we should make racist jokes in Singapore. The normalization of racism in Singapore will expose faults and cracks in the multiracial society that can be easily exposed by other people who want to tear the fabric that our founding fathers have so desperately and meticulously wove together. It's this fabric that really holds us all together, but it's really fragile. Some people take things very seriously, so if you say a racist joke to someone who takes things seriously, but you meant it as a joke, the person might think that you're really trying to offend them. I'll usually just brush it off like nothing happened, yeah, but then passively, aggressively, always drop hints here and there to make sure that I get my message across that this is not good. I'm really good at that.